if I remember correctly, uh, the chapter, I got the book here. I, I said it here. I never bothered to pick it up. Oh, yeah. I, I, it was uh, the chapter called Saying Yes to Sacramental Unity and No to Sacramental Disunity. And the reason I said sacramental disunity is, is because uh, we have – now, this is especially true in the Orthodox Church and in the Catholic Church, but even the Orthodox are even more um, – rigorous about this than the uh, than the Roman Catholic Church and, and that's pretty rigorous too that unless um, you down the law or, well unless you are inside of that particular ecclesial body okay that believes everything exactly the way it's presented to you by that ecclesial body you are not supposed to have communion with other Christians. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and this is even maintained between the Orthodox and the Catholics, who both mm -hmm. believe that each other's sacraments are valid. All right. Well, I, I, it, it, you know, this is where, this is where I, I definitely um, bend the rules uh, and I do it without any uh, without any apology whatsoever. Uh, this is not what Jesus instituted sacraments for. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you're baptized, you are not baptized into uh, the quote unquote uh, Orthodox Church or into the mm -hmm. Roman Catholic Church or into the Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are baptized into Christ. Period. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, etc. You know, but you were baptized into Christ. You know, and and I and I speak there that there are two things: incarnation and incorporation. Incarnation, the Word becomes flesh. Incorporation, we become the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. In in corpus uh, uh, Christi. You know, in in Christ's body, we're incorporated. Now, once we're inside that context, once we are part of Christ, uh, Paul is very realistic about this. When he says we're, you know, this is, you remember the famous line in 1 Corinthians, um, is 11, 10, it's in chapter 10, I believe, where he says, you know, he who makes himself, um, joins himself to a prostitute becomes one body with her. Mm -hmm. And, and, and his ration and his reason for that is you don't take a member of Christ's body and join it. You know, all of a sudden you realize when you're reading that particular text that for Paul, our physical bodies are Christ's body hmm. through mm -hmm. baptism. All right, that's how real it is for him. That's how that's how uh, that's how uh, corporeal it is for him. So here we are joined to Jesus Christ, and when we receive the body and blood of Christ sacramentally, uh, however we want to interpret that, because again, this is, this is a matter of different churches approach this mystery in different ways, but basically all Christians believe we are ratifying the covenant that we have with Christ in the sacrifice of his body and blood, which is now presented to us uh, under the forms of bread and wine in some way. And what we are doing is communing together as a body that I am one with you, you are one with me, we are all baptized into Christ. And my point was, there, no matter how divided clergy are one from another, sometimes over the most ridiculous things, <laughs> Mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of these, a lot of the barriers that exist between East and West, and between Reformed and and um, uh, radical Reformed and the Catholic, and all all those all those barriers do not, in any sense, uh, uh, lessen the fact that anybody who is baptized in Christ is a member of Christ, and therefore there should be no barriers. Uh, that the sign of the uh, that the uh, Eucharist, which is meant to be a sign of unity, now becomes a sign of disunity. Because if I can't receive, say, you and I can't receive side by side, okay, if, if we're not permitted to 
what is the source of the disunity? The source of the disunity, it isn't just simply we might believe this or that detail differently. The source of that disunity is that we have uh, a church hierarchy that says we're not allowed uh, to uh, express our unity in Christ. Hmm. And then I would say, at, at what point do we simply say to that, that's wrong? 